Welcome back to Aerol's Games! Cause after all, isn't this supposed to be the literature club? Alright, I'm gonna read it in uh, her very delightful, easy on the ears voice. Ready? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue creature hue of the future. I bathe. Calms breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back, you dumb dumb. I, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Could it be that perhaps it's because you're a dumb dumb? Ah, uh, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? <laughs> well, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild for your dumb dumb stupidness. Something easy to digest, I suppose, for somebody with a small IQ such as yourself. You weren't raised with the higher intellect of Texans like I was. Are you in a ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, McNerpinson, you dumb fucking dumbass. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They also name things that have nothing to do with the actual poem because I think I'm better than everybody because I'm from Texas, bang bang, shoot them up. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of my poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. You know, a ghost. We're from Texas where we execute people all the time, so we are not foreign to the ideas of ghosts. Just a little boot scoop boop ba ba dum dum. Lingering in the last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. Jesus fucking Christ, what is wrong with you? I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Nothing a simpleton couldn't figure out. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too, perhaps, you dumb dumb. Yeah, maybe you're right. Wait, you just call me dumb? I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Because I can count to five. <laughs> Who should I show my poem to next? Let's go with uh, Monica. Hi, McNerpinson. Having a good time so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have a suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always hearing with my human ears. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah, 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 ah. Don't worry, McNerpinson. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica in my poem. Mm. Now scanning. Ding. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? 
You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had these things. I can't read. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Ah, well. We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you would think. So I think that the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem... Hmm. You sure you're not reading into this too much? Ah, 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 I could be. There is a 95.783% chance I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. No, you do not. <laughs> but in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. Oh god damn it, wrong voice! <laughs> but in that case, Sayori's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. Keep your voices right, you fucking idiot. You're ruining the show for everyone. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness and human feelings. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own, or other human sayings like that. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. Say with two girls at once. Wait, what? Nothing. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take me a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I have eternity before my battery core shuts down. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ah! 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 <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. It's in my programming. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. I was recharging my batteries at the time. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. A angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I'm a computer and will never know such human luxuries. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My robot eyes have shut down for the evening. My human retinas also already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, deep. Stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, almost robotic if you will. Like a computer did it, if that's what you would call it. Sorry. I'm not really the right person to ask for feed- Oh, god damn it! Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. It's okay. But really, seriously, stop fucking up the voices. You're ruining everybody's good time. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. But for real, dude. Look at the top left hand of the box. It says our names. Read before you read. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. You dumbass. <laughs> what was the inspiration behind this one? Ah! Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. 
I guess that you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. A new file downloaded to be exact. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Epiphany.exe. File open. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. Also, you can ask the paperclip. Hi, it looks like you're trying to write a poem. Can I help you? Yes, you can. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is... If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh, it was a pleasure. You're so easy on the ears, I can listen to you talk all day. Who should I show my poem to next? Natsuki. Well, what would I expect from somebody like you? That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just can't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cedars can run. Eagles can fly. People can cry. But that's about it. Yeah. I told you you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I thought it's like when it's easy to read, but it's just too hard. So I can just throw them. Seeing everyone around, you do good things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing is simply writing that puts more weight on, on the wordplay. Like I set up for rhythm and it's I'm but I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feelings in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I had realized. That's what it means to be a fucking pro, bro. Seriously, I'm fucking amazing. I spit all over my computer screen. I can barely read or see anything anymore. I'm serious. I spit everywhere. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, just ya. Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with one last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. F-A-U. <laughs> Minimal voice messy messing up, if you know what I'm saying. Like, I only mess the voices up like once or twice. That's a fucking lie, and you know it's- SHUT UP, No one asked you, fuck, bitch. Seriously, dude, you're like fucking up everyone's voices like every 10 seconds. It's true. It's hard, okay? I can't read names and and, and the boxes and, and everyone pops up and it's hard, okay? I'm trying to, I'm doing a bunch of voices. That is the lamest excuse I've ever heard. I've watched several gameplays with less fuck ups than this. You know what, Monica? That is fucking not fair, okay? These guys have been our seasoned pros, man. I'm This is like my first series like attempt at one of these games, it is hard. My brain is breaking words and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a strong reader, guys. 
That's just fucking sad, seriously. Yeah, it's like I'm not even trying. All right, this conversation's over. All right, episode is over. I'm done getting belittled for my fuck-ups. I will see you guys in the next video. If you like me, even though I fuck up sometimes because I'm human, please like this video and subscribe because I fucking need subscribers right now, man. I'm feeling, feeling bad about myself. Everyone's yelling at me. Ugh. Anyways, guys, love you. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.